There were hundreds and maybe a thousand trucks involved in the protest two years ago. Yeah. So why do you think they suddenly picked on you and why not? Uh, yeah, that's a question I've been thinking myself and I can't answer. Um, okay. We're a little annoyed. Yeah. And, and uh, the lawyers are saying, Harold, be careful what you're saying. <laughs> but at the same time, you, you, you know, you, uh, we, we are uh, called to speak the truth and when we have the opportunity, but yet at the same time, yeah. Does it, does it feel, like in the back of your mind, does it feel like it's political rather than an actual criminal matter? Yeah, in some ways it does feel that way, right? That, uh, we're just trying to tell people to uh, to be quiet, not to speak out, not to uh, disagree with the narrative that they want to push on our society. So that's where you're seeing a lot of, a lot of, uh, People suffering the, the same kind of consequences. So it's, I think we're in interesting and exciting times, but where it goes, that's, that's another, that's what we don't know, but we, we need to keep speaking the truth. Absolutely, and we're so glad, so glad that you are. Um, at the time that your trucks came to the protest, how many trucks did you have at the protest? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the lawyer keeps saying, don't say too much, but um, we had quite a few trucks here and, and uh, yeah, it was, it was... But it was a perfectly legal yep. protest at the yep. time, right? We were parked by the Ottawa police. We were escorted to our spots by the Ottawa police, even on February 14th. So, just, it's a, yeah, a lot of things don't make sense. A lot of things don't make sense. What yeah. about, did they, did they slam down your bank accounts, like so many supporters? Um, personally, my bank accounts weren't, but uh, our company was shut down for a week after, um, which was... Uh, yeah, not even, it, it was tough for us, but worse for our drivers. I still wanted to work, right? So, yeah. And when are they giving you your next court date? June 7th is next, the next court date, but I don't think I need to be here, which is uh, good. So June 17th, they, I think, when they'll get a little bit more details of what they have and, and, and go from there. Does your lawyer give you any kind of sense about how he thinks it's going to go? Uh, yeah, right. Like, I, like even himself, the big question that he has is why 15 months later, and then what? What are they coming with? Like, but at the end of the day, um, there's been so many videos of, of those three weeks, so the uh, the truth will prevail. Yep. Let's hope to it does. Yeah. You know, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck. Yeah. So, it was quick, eh? It was quick, <laughs> yes. So, the, how do you feel to see all the room filled with only supporters of you? Well, it was kind of neat to see and then to see these ladies sitting there watching all you come in was kind of like, what in the world's going on, right? But, um, yeah, I, I hope it makes them realize that there is a lot of Canadians that still care and, and are concerned about our process and and, and, and I it's it's gonna tell them that we're watching, right? Canadians are watching, Canadians care and and I think that's why it was pretty wonderful to see so many uh, wonderful Canadians here, um, so many uh, people that are speaking up for the truth, so yeah, it was. It, I, I did find it funny. They're all kind of looking. What's going on? Who's this guy? And yeah, just a truck driver that was asked to come here. So, <laughs> but yet the, the love and the support across this country has been amazing. And um, yeah, once I've done this interview, there's a few people I definitely got to get give a hug to and, and thank them for being here. And it's just been it's been awesome and uh, emotional. And how do you feel to have to drive on more than five hours to come in for only fingerprint and one minute in the room in the courthouse? Yeah, like what a waste of uh, what a waste of our, 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 our resources, right? Like everybody's talking, we gotta save the environment, we gotta do this and we gotta do this and then yet they, they make people drive all the way up here just to uh, do the, what what happened today. Um, and my lawyer already said, you don't really need to be in court, but you have to come up for the fingerprinting. And Niagara Region Police could have done that just as well as Ottawa Police here. So, 
why it was here. It's fine. It uh, gave me the opportunity to uh, attend the uh, the March for Life, which is happening tomorrow. That was uh, something that I've always wanted to uh, participate in, but never had the opportunity for work reasons and, and, and whatever. And now tomorrow I been blessed with the opportunity to stay at somebody's house for the next two nights and then we'll be here. Um, thankfully they didn't bring any bail, more bail conditions here so I, I, I'm still allowed to express my uh, my beliefs in the Lord and tomorrow we'll be uh, supporting the uh, the unborn children that uh, sadly our, our society is, is uh, uh, yeah just tell me uh do you have any scriptures, any particular scripture from the Bible, any particular scripture that has comforted and strengthened you? Yeah, I, I've always, uh, my favorite scriptures from Joshua, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And uh, there's so many other ones. It, it, it's just amazing. And, and that's that's also been my comfort. Like when you see what's going on in our world, you, you are comforted in the fact that the word's being fulfilled. If, 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 if as a society... We don't want to show the love and the and the compassion and the truth that we need to our neighbors. We will we will be led to what God says is the foolishness foolishness of the world, and and we're seeing that happen in, in front of us. My question is a little bit similar of what we heard before. Um, there was how many thousands of thousands of truckers present during the Freedom Convoy. Why do you think it you? Is it because you were involved also in being a counselor, and it's why they targeted you for political stance? Yeah, you do wonder that. Like, I, I, I thought that myself too at the beginning. It's like, wow, why me? Like, yeah, I was an Agris captain, that's well known. But at the same time, um, there's a lot of people that were in leadership roles and, and wonderful people that worked to, uh, very hard to keep it a, a, a peaceful, lawful, loving protest for three weeks and I, I know there's some of them that are going wow if they picked on Harold who's next right and 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 then I've also had people say it's kind of neat that it's you because you seem to be able to handle it but um, yeah it's been emotional I got a wonderful wife um, that's you know supportive of, of what we were doing and been supporting me in my political uh my political career, if you want to call it a career, I was town councillor for four years, and, and uh, yeah, I got a, a lawsuit against the township for, for them wrong, wrongfully um, accusing me of being part of an unlawful, uh, un, what was deemed an unlawful protest when we had twice judges rule that it was wasn't. So it, it could be that, but it's yeah, I, I really think it's just God's deciding this is what you need to do. Do it, trust me, and, and his purpose will, it'll be clear someday. How do you feel to be treated as a criminal for your belief? That is, uh, you know, we're, we're called to uh, to stand for our beliefs as a Christian. Uh, and, yeah, we, we feel that sometimes we're being persecuted but we also got to remind ourselves what we have here in this country is still pretty good we still have our freedom of religion and you know as long as we continue to show to our neighbor that we love them be patient with them we will we will be a good witness we we get frustrated sometimes we we're definitely saddened when we see what's going on with the uh you know uh, there's so many things there's uh, the transgender uh mess the uh the abortion industry the uh euthanasia that's happening uh, it just but yet we do have that freedom still to, to speak and that's what we're called to do and um we, yeah we, we pray that the truth is people see the truth that the, the, the love that our savior has for us is, is unbelievable if we would just turn to him right so if you have like this word to say do you have love love is the greatest gift we've received from god and we yeah 
to love your neighbor as yourself and that includes everybody here that includes everybody uh, in Parliament building even though even though we sometimes are pretty frustrated with how things go there we are still called to love each other and and that's that's the greatest gift that we can give anybody because that's the greatest gift he gave us and to uh, to share that with people is is what we're called to do and if if uh, if we have love nothing else matters how did he show that love how did he show that love he died for us on the cross yeah amen yeah amen, <laughs> amen. perfect <laughs>